What does al gumra mean in Arabic? Al gumra. Al gumra is a henna knight. What is the history of henna? The word henna originated in the Arabic word al henna, which is a plant that grows to be four to eight feet high in hot climates, and can be found in Iran, Pakistan, Syria, Morocco, Egypt, India, and among many others. The leaves, flowers, and the twigs of the plant are ground into fine powder, then mixed with hot water. Some researchers argued that henna originated in ancient India, while others claim it was brought to India by Egyptian in the 12th century. Ancient and traditional, henna has been used for centuries for body decoration. Ancient Egyptians used henna broil for mummification. People all over the world continue to use henna primarily for cosmetic purposes. However, in countries where henna is rooted in historical tradition, members of working class more commonly apply henna for medicinal and healing purposes, as well as connection to spirit. Henna is like tattoo and has become an integral part of bridal rituals around many countries. In addition, henna parties are held for most Muslim brides in the Middle East and South Asia. They are usually celebrated a few days before the wedding with close women, friends, and family. Special artists create designs on the bride's hands and feet with henna paste, resulting in a deep red stain that lasts several weeks. The bride may also be perfumed with fragrant oils and presented with gifts of jewelry and silk. Similar celebrations are held for the groom in many Islamic countries. A Saudi bride usually wears the traditional dress which is a very expensive gown made especially for henna night. But it depends on the family finance. Some can afford to buy their own, while others just rent it. A commitment to tradition says a bride should not be seen by anyone even though they are their husbands. So a bride often covers her face in order her husband and other people get excited to see her beautiful face within day. However, today these traditions have changed a lot and beautiful customs have become a thing of the past. Many Saudi brides now put makeup on and show off their beautiful faces and hair. Also women include a Saudi brides wear traditional clothes from different countries such as India, Turkey, Morocco and among many others. Also. Many brides host henna night but don't want to apply henna. They use the other kind of henna, which is either white or black. White henna can take up to one day, while black henna may take up to one week. I feel sorry for the new generation for not holding on to this beautiful tradition. Henna night is one of the oldest traditions in Saudi Arabia when brides, instead of making all too common makeup, appear with only lipstick and intricate henna patterns on their hands and feet. In addition, the music and dancing continues all henna night. The ceremony takes place in the bride's parents' house or in this place which is special for ceremonies in Saudi Arabia and it's called Wedding Palace. This place decorates with traditional wools, dishes, vases, carpets and rugs are spread.
Also, different kinds of food are served during dancing, including Saudi biscuits, known as al mamour. The highlight of Hina night is the entrance of the bride into the room at the sound of special music. Everything stops and the focus is here only. Then she is greeted by all guests and the celebration continues. Then a huge meal is served. This is my sister Zalgumla, which was two months ago, and this is the decoration of the place. I will let you interest with the special Arabic music on Hina night. <laughs>